Hello, CG Vitals here, and welcome to this uh, tutorial. We're going to talk about how to make the render passes in RenderMan for Blender and combining those passes in Fusion properly. Alright, so first of all, I'm not sure uh, about this combining passes, but what I have found that this is uh, mm, this is for in this case for this case uh, this is uh, accurate. So please let me know in the comment section if you are uh, if you know uh, anything else uh, about uh, making this pass accurately. So let us start. So first of all. Um, let's see the things what I have set up here so these are very simple sphere we have a, um, mm, we have a lamp with an environment map that is an HDR map obviously we are in render man for render the latest engine uh, this is the date is uh, 22 August 2016 till now so all right so Mm, let's see the materials. So this is a um, simple glass material. This is a simple plastic, metal, SSS, and this is a mansion. All right. So mm, what else? Uh, well, I forgot about uh, <laughs> the main essence of it, essence of this tutorial. That is the M, uh, uh, AOV passes. So how to do it? So. You need to go to the render layers here, and you can see lots of things, but it was not uh, by default. So I'm just going to minus 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 minus. minus. So how to we, uh, how to create it? Uh, we're going to see that first. Okay, so uh, by default you will get the combined RGB and also a Z depth. So let's select this guy, the channel type. This is the Z depth. Then. Uh, hit plus and then go to NNN. So these are basically some primary passes. And then we're going to start plus and let's go to reflection plus diffuse plus indirect diffuse plus specular. It is uh, very important to use uh, them, you know, uh, like that, you know, on the in sequence because this will help you to create it really easily. So those are those. I'm not going to use the shadows. You can use the. Uh, you can uh, see my previous tutorial. It was almost like that. So let's select it. So these are my passes, and then go to external render and uh, do the external rendering thing alright so these are the things so now let's go to the render man section we have 1920 50% mm, keep UI render to IT I have uh, enabled the external rendering we will discuss it and the render will be open EXR file and uh, what else? Uh, we have max sample of 30, min sample 4, and blah 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 blah. Okay, so let's render it. Let's see about IPR. They have overhauled the new things here. So let's see in IPR. So I'm selecting it, and it will start the interactive mode rendering. And uh, this will begin. All right. So let's stop it here. Let's escape. Close it down. Okay. So we are going to render it. All right. So mm, how to render it in external render? So uh, let's stop the IPR. So first of all, what we need to do uh, in the most recent render uh, Blender render, they have uh, integrated this Maya setup. So go to Control Alt U. Go to the add-on. Uh, type on, type in render something. Yeah, and you will get this render man for Blender. So what you need to do here is basically choose the output path, the output root. Mine is D drive render man pass check, which is here. Render man pass check. Okay. So go there, and you will see the 
render my pass check. Alright, then save the user settings and close it down. Now we can enable the external render. Okay, so enable the external render and then go to action and it make it spool job, spool to local queue. Now let's start rendering. And it will start render and you will see this guy. So it is making the thing here. Uh, it is really fast actually compared to the previous render setup. It is really fast because it doesn't need extra uh, GPU though you ca you could use RIB but I think this one is really better because what you will get is a hundred percent so what you will get is basically everything just like texture you have the text this is the AGR map we were working on and we have this images which are EXR files we are going to work with it I oh, all the yeah, 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 yeah. Archive, so we have get also an RIB file and things like that. So this is pretty much good. So let's go to the uh, let's go to the images section and let's start with fusions. All right, so we are in fusion, and in fusion we're going to use this pass formula: diffuse plus specular plus indirect diffuse plus indirect specular plus refraction plus emission plus SSS is equal to beauty. Um, there is a thing. Uh, in additive process we really don't need the reflection pass here it is overruled by indirect spec specular so in blender you can actually omit this reflection pass we don't need that but just for demonstrate demonstration sex uh, we have included it here so now let's go to mm, this guy so we have everything here diffuse emission indirect blah 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 we have uh, avoided this guy reflection this is the beauty pass this is the normal I don't need that right now and this is the Z depth I don't need that right now too and we are not going to cover it here uh, Z depth has you know camera blur we don't need that right now so let's go and import everything here and also the beauty pass okay thank you uh, this March notice we are going to uh, delete it all we don't need that right now but we're going to use it so I'm just going to sort it out with this uh, formula so first diffuse then we have emission which will go here uh, this is the subsurface so we're going to use them here okay uh, then we have inter diffuse that is good uh, then we have indirect specular which is good then we have refraction which is good uh, this is a specular a uh, specular should be here in after diffuse oh by the way I'm uh, seeing this name from here okay specular okay so this is diffuse then a specular this is indirect diffuse this is indirect specular which is correct then refraction then we have emission and then we have subsurface scattering okay it has been done perfect and it is beauty pass so now what I'm going to do is basically um, control space and there is a march note and this march node in fusion a new march node has a plus button here but a uh, plus mode but in fusion it also has a plus which is basically turning off the alpha gain to zero that will make it plus perfect so now let's alt and uh, here B for background and there we go this is for round perfect C control V and just connect them all to V connect it control V why I'm pasting uh, uh, pasting uh, pasting it because we have everything here perfectly fine so I'm just reducing my work and here we go that's it pretty much simple okay so now what we need to do is basically show it here so I'm just going to turn it off 
here and I'm going to window new image view which is much more better there we go and if I'm going to see the march we can see it like that so now so this is my bit pass which is exactly same but we're not going to use it like that we're going to use a gamut node here and the gamut node in output saying that this will be srgb output so let's turn it off and, and you can see the srgb here so i'm just copy it control c control v and i'm going like that and here we go so we have destroyed the alpha path so we're going to that thing later let's see so how you can uh, how can determine that your uh, things are uh, in a good shape well uh, uh, I mean in a good shape means you know um, uh, they are same the beauty pass and uh, mm, uh, this cook is same how can you determine it it's pretty easy just go to a merge node in the merge node what we're going to do is basically make it difference so what I'm going to do is basically input it one and input it two and just go to march and you can see it's a total black that means your things are perfect sorry your things are in perfect shape okay so how to check it just go here press control P suppose and you can see that any part we disable it will give us something okay so that's how we can understand that everything is perfect okay it's done so let's uh, go to delete the merge node now what we need to do is basically the transparency so how can we do it is a bit simple again go to a merge node and uh, let's go here merge node sorry not the merge node we're going to use a boolean so this is my channel boolean everything is fine just go here uh, to the to red do nothing to green do nothing to blue do nothing and copy the alpha from foreground so this will be our foreground the beauty pass and this will be our background the cooked one so now if I'm going here you can see we have exact the same thing okay for some comparison sake let's do an AB so we are in th this is the beauty pass and this is the cooked pass okay let's see in zooming partition okay now you can see everything is perfectly fine no amount of uh, you know no difference at all uh, we have actually uh, mathematically proved it so doesn't matter so here we go and that's how we can uh, cook our uh, our random man passes be sure to uh, I'm going to uh, give it in the description be sure to note it out and that's it uh, by the way if, uh, I'm not sure actually not sure till now is it if it's uh, if, if it's working for your project on or not if it's not please let me know and if you got any solution for that please let me know that too so thanks uh, I'm CG virus and uh, I will see you next time bye bye